In this story, we show you an innovative device that could help rehabilitate stroke survivors. How? By helping individuals improve their motor skills and overall quality of life. Meet Lisa Vincent, a 52-year-old stroke patient. Vincent is among the first to trial a wearable prototype aimed at restoring lost movement. Developed by Newbond, a spin-out from Imperial College London, the device is being tested at a stroke support group in Chiswick in West London. It's just amazing and I don't want to cry but <laughs> it makes you want to cry because you know you can do it. It's just positivity all the way now. For Vincent, this device has been part of a recovery for about two months. Four years ago, a stroke left her left arm immobile and rigid. But now, she's starting to regain control. I thought, oh, it's not going to work for me. I thought, oh, you know, why me? Why did they pick me? You know, I'm just a stroke patient. That's how I felt. But then when I started moving, that was like, birthday, Christmas, everything, all rolled into one, it was the best day of my life, best day. So how does the wearable tech function? The device detects muscle activation through electrodes and stimulates nerves to encourage movement. It helps retrain the brain to regain motor control by reinforcing the connection between brain activity and limb movement. Vincent describes the sensation as a mix of tingling and a deep massage. So let's say when you want to rasp an object, normally what is happening is that your brain is sending signal to your muscles. So this device is able to capture this data. If it's happening here, if it's happening there, depending on the type of contraction that you want to do, the movement that you want to do. And then it sends that and internally in the device, it calculates which muscle is becoming active to then trigger a stimulation within the same muscle which first will enhance the contraction and second it will be like a message that you will send back to the brain and it will require the activity and the connections between the brain and the muscle so then you regain mobility. The device has already improved Vincent's left arm which was previously rigid but now can bend and flex more freely. Recently, she was even able to hold her eight-month-old granddaughter for the first time. My granddaughter, she's eight months old and she was only allowed to sit on my lap because I couldn't hold her. And two weeks, three weeks ago, sorry, my daughter put her on my lap and I held her with this arm because I felt in control of the wrist and I was confident enough and I cried myself to sleep that night. It was amazing that I could do that eventually. Another participant, 62-year-old Faisal Hussain, had a severe brain hemorrhage and spent six months in the hospital. However, his wife Sophia was amazed to see him move his right arm again with the help of the wearable device. They basically say it's like, because of the pathways to the brain, it's, it's like he's forgotten he has a right arm, so it's just there, not doing anything. And then just seeing that, it's like, can see he's, he's felt something and remembered and it's actually moved, so it is quite amazing to see. Following these initial pilot trials, Newbond plans to begin a larger trial in January 2025 at Charing Cross Hospital. This will involve 20 patients. It will help validate the device's effectiveness and start the regulatory approval process. <laughs>